Hey, happy holidays to all you guys. I uh, hope you guys have a great vacation. Um, it's about time for me to do another YouTube uh, tutorial uh, lesson. Um, and um, my friend uh, up in LA um, gave me uh, this, uh, this cool tenor guitar. Um, Michael Duffy um, is about as fanatical about Tiny Grimes as I am. And uh, to be honest with you, I never really played uh, a tenor guitar. And uh, other than sitting in a music store and just kind of fiddling around uh, with one for three to five minutes. Um, so anyway, this was a, a great gift and I figure I, I should probably do a video. And um, you can see me kind of fumble around on it. Um, so the guitar itself, you can tell the scale is shorter and uh, the frets are, you know, it's like almost like playing like a banjo. So. It, even though uh, Tiny tuned the guitar just like a guitar in fourths, not in fifths, and it's just the top four strings of a guitar, string spacing and neck size, and the, um, missing the geographical cues of the fifth and sixth string can be kind of, uh, um, kind of difficult. But it's great, you know, other than the fact it's, you know, simple to play, you know. Now you can see how the the advantages of that short scale and um, just the overall setup, how, you know, times go. All those ideas uh, make a lot more sense. The only drag is if you're getting a lower string, you, you have to move linearly down the neck. then you know you because you can't go you can't play it there so the good news is when I put all the uh, different chords I heard on uh, uh, some of the Tiny's uh, later recordings where I could hear the, the chords a little bit more clearly, they make perfect sense on the guitar. So for the most part, I think I was, was right. Um, and if you guys want to check out, I have, uh, I have my uh, lesson module on Tiny Grime Comping. I'll, I'll put it up on sale uh, here probably uh, after I, I post this video. And... Uh, and uh, I think it's useful stuff. So I figured uh, might as well kind of do a head to a song. Um, one of my favorite uh, um, uh, Tiny Grimes tunes with uh, the good cording, or you know the the clear cording that we're talking about, is a song called uh, Morgan Tini. And uh, Morgan Tini was uh, uh, he was a music producer uh, in France, and he had the uh, it's a black and blue uh, record label, and uh, I believe his name was Jacques. And uh, we could—I'm sure Phil Dubois would have more uh, information about it. But there's a song actually called Morgantini, and I believe it's named after Jacques Morgantini, the producer. So uh, it was uh, during the late '60s and the '70s. Um, a lot of blues artists would uh, go over, and. Um, record over in France, guys like Jay McShann, Tiny Grimes, and a lot of times Billy Butler, and they would record on each other's sessions. So there's some really, really great, great records. Um, I will warn you, though, Billy Butler playing the wah pedal is, is probably not my favorite Billy Butler um, tune. Still sounds great, but uh, anyway, the song we're looking at is in the key of F, and so, you know, your F is not going to be down here like you think about it. It's going to be here because imagine you have the sixth string and there would be your octave. And that's the intro that he plays. Now, just to give you a little bit of cueing, this is what it does. This is what the song sounds like. So 
So you can hear the, a tenor guitar and you can hear it super clean. So there's a couple chords like using this one right here. It's like, here's my F. That'll be my sixth chord. And sliding into that's really nice. Now couple that with playing like a this F6 right here. This is be kind of based off of a what I'd consider to be like a D-shaped um, uh, F chord right here. So you'd have to use uh, some thought on it. So this would be like F major, F6. So we got this idea. Which, that little motif can be used over, you know, any sort of blues. So we have this again. Now watch the four chord. Flatten the third. Back of the one. And then... to your one chord, which is kind of nice. Now, if you want to get a seventh chord, check this out. So six, this is a six, this is a six, this is a seven, kind of like the Robert Lockwood. So watch this, I can go. Sorry about that. So we got this again. Ninth chord. So three chords of play here. So I have major six. F major 6, F major 6, F dominant 7, F9. Four chord, four major, four nine chord, or seventh chord. All sorts of cool possibilities. So Just a regular ninth chord. So I hope that makes sense to some of you guys. Just to recap it one more time. F major. Six. Built off the, like a D shape, F major. And then from there, I can attach the nine. Or I can attach the six. Then if I want to play the four chord, I can flatten that. That'll give me... Um, the B flat seven, B flat seven, B flat nine, and then for the five chord, you can obviously move up. And you see how tiny those frets are? It makes it super easy to go through. So just one more little shot, so you can see. Christmas, guys, and uh, look forward to talking to you super soon. Bye-bye.